Hey beauties and welcome back to Beauty's World. So today I'm going to be showing you how to go from this 613 color to this nice gray color. Stay tuned. So as you can see here, I tried a couple of different products to see if I can get that perfect gray shade. The Adore Platinum looks totally purple. The Ion Titanium came out really nice. This Chroma Silk I think it's called. Uh, yeah, that came out ugly. I thought that was going to be the perfect shade of gray. I bought like seven of those and it just really disappointed me. It looks brown. And I got the Pravana shampoo and conditioner. That was very inconsistent. The shimmer lights came out better than that one. And the Wella. So the two that I like the most is the Wella and the Ion Titanium. But if you like any of these shades, go ahead and go for it. But that's not what I was going for. So the closest gray that I like are the Titanium Ion and the Wella 050. So as you can see here, I played around with the Wella. I did a couple of different recipes to see which color I like the most. Here I'm just showing you how the Titanium Ion kind of matches with the Wella. And so if you can't find that color, you can always use the Wella instead. Because it is fairly new, you might not find it in stores yet. But if you like that color, you can definitely achieve it with the Wella 050. So like I said, I wanted to play around with the color a little bit so I can see, you know, which one I would like the most. And I think I found my perfect shade. I want to know what your perfect shade is. Make sure you leave it in the comment section below. So here is the recipe. All you would need is one eighth of a bottle of the Wella 050. Then you're going to take an empty bottle of that and pour it in your 30 developer three times and then mix it up. Next, you're going to go ahead and do one fourth of a bottle and do that same thing, filling your bottle up with the developer three times and mixing it. This color, you need a half a bottle and then you're going to repeat the last steps. Also, keep in mind, soon as I put the product in and it was all over the hair, I did go ahead and wash it out. And for this shade, you're going to use a full bottle and you're going to go ahead and do the last steps the same as the rest. So there you go. This hair took color very well, so I'm really, really impressed. So now we're going to go ahead and get started. So here are all the products that I use to achieve my color. Of course, you can use any shampoo and conditioner. You can use any developer as long as it's 30 developer. And make sure you have some coconut oil. So I just have a trash bag here. This is like an 80 gallon trash bag that I had. And I'm just going to open it up and cut it open down the lines. Then I'm just going to go ahead and spread it open and tape it down. Next we're going to go ahead and go in with the coconut oil. This is pure all natural coconut oil. And we're going to spread that all throughout the hair to give it a nice protective barrier so that we won't damage the hair. Make sure you get the ends really good because that is the part that gets the most damage. So here we have it. We have the hair fully covered with the coconut oil. Now we're ready to go ahead and mix our product. So first I'm going to go ahead and take the Wella 050 and I'm taking one fourth of that and I'm going to pour it inside the mixing bowl. Next I'm just taking an empty one of those Wella bottles and I'm going to pour the 30 developer inside there three times and then I'm going to mix it. You're going to mix it very well maybe up to like 30 seconds to a minute, then you're ready to go ahead and start. I like to just pour a layer over the hair first because it's just quicker that way to me and I'm just lazy sometimes doing this. So as you can see, it did help me move a little bit faster, but the little parts that I miss, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my time and cover those areas, front and back. And that is what it looks like when I'm done. And I just left it on for maybe like one minute, but you can take it right off if you like. But I just left it on for one minute. And I also went ahead and did the closure. And then I used my shampoo and my conditioner and voila, we have that perfect gray shade that I've been looking for. Please let me know in the comment section below what was your perfect gray shade. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video. I will be installing this hair and styling it and you get to see the finished product and how all the colors look together. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and I will see you guys in the next one. 
So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're going to go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. as you can see. So you already know what to do, stay tuned. Another hair review for you guys. And today I'm super excited to review for this company because I'm gonna be able to work with color and that's what I've been wanting to do for you guys. So here's the packaging and it's from Her Hair Company. 